This is our 1988 Catalina 30. It is a tall rig model. It also has a bowsprit. That means that we gain a couple of feet. The front of the boat sticks out a little farther so that we can get a little more sail area on our Genoa. And the tall rig just means it's a couple of feet taller than a non-tall rig version. Again, just to give you a little bit more sail area. The bowsprit sticks out a little bit further than one without. This boat right here has no bowsprit. Same boat, but this one has a bowsprit. We haven't done a proper full tour, so we figured it might be good to do that. There's a shot of the outside. Do a quick walk around, moving around to the front. It's a full view of it. She's swapping the decks back there. We replaced the um, running lights with LEDs. That was kind of tricky, but we got it done. Shot up the top of the mast. Moving over to the starboard side. Let's go down below. This is our galley. The kitchen on a boat is called a galley. We have our fire extinguisher, our two burner stove, our brand new red copper square dance Kathy Mitchell pan. Inside the stove, we can bake cookies or whatever you want to do. The stove is gimbaled, so when the boat heals, you can still cook because it tilts as the boat tilts to keep it nice and balanced. But two stainless steel sinks, hot and cold water. We have a microwave. To the right of the microwave, we have an ice box. It is just an ice box. It doesn't have refrigeration. So basically, you just toss a bunch of ice in there, with your drinks and whatnot at the bottom, put your food or whatever you have at the top. And there's outlets for the microwave. We have storage shelf at the top. Quite a bit of storage there. Storage shelf below with doors. We have some pot holders in there. Various things in there. So a lot of storage in here. Below the microwave we have three drawers. A lot of storage there for knives and measuring cups and towels and all sorts of good things. Underneath the sink, more storage. Probably can't see that because it's dark. To the right of the sink, more drawers. Forks, knives, spoons. Below that we have some uh, bowls, trash bags, and below that goes to the engine compartment. This is our port side settee. The port side is the left side of the boat. So it's just in front of the galley. We have some storage uh, at the top. A couple of shelves there and a locker. And over here on the right, there's a table that's attached to the wall. That table comes off the wall and sets up right here for a dining room table. So that's what the table looks like when it's set up. There's a leg beneath and a couple of brackets that attach to the bulkhead. We've never used that. We just kind of eat outside. This is our head. The toilet in a boat is called a head. We recently replaced our head with a brand new Jabsco unit. So it's all nice and clean. And here is the seacock. You have to open a seacock to allow fresh water to come from the lake. That's what you use to flush it with. A couple of outlets there with a stainless steel sink. This pops out of here. And that's a shower if you need to take a shower. Got hot and cold water for showers. It's our head storage. Little shelf there. Put put various things in there. Two sided. Got some toothpaste. Got a handle there in case you need to hold on for some reason. Got a a portal. Get some fresh air. Down here we have our uh, oops our marine toilet paper. We all know what that's for. Don't have to get into that. So yeah, that's the that's the head. In front of our 
marine head is the V-berth. It might be hard to tell from looking, but there is an inordinate amount of space here. It's enough for two full-grown adults to stretch out and sleep comfortably. A lot more space than it looks like. And above the V-berth, we have a hatch with our wind scoop over it. Sucks wind in from outside and blows it down in here. It keeps it nice and cool. We generally get about 10 degrees temperature drop from the wind scoop by itself. We don't have an air conditioner. So we, we have an air conditioner, but it's just one that fits into that hatch. Uh, and it's just enough for the V-berth. But we generally haven't had to use it, even though it's pretty hot in the Texas summer. But we've got enough room in there. And that wind scoop makes it nice and cool. So a lot of room in there, more than you would think. Just aft of the V-berth, we have this storage cabinet. This is a hanging locker. Right now it has our bug screen in it, a couple of fans and a heater, but at the top you have a rod so you can hang your clothes or do whatever you need to do there. The top, a couple of DC outlets, an AC outlet, some audio cables, a couple of towels, and then we have storage. Four drawers, quite a bit of storage in there. We have some TP in that one. This one, more towels. This one kind of flops out like that. Not a lot of space in there, but better than none. So, and above that, obviously, we have, uh, above that, some port lights. It is kind of hard to record because I'm pointing directly into the sun, but this is our starboard settee. Uh, on this side, we have our completely unnecessary television. You don't need that to sail, but hey, why not? It was on the boat when we bought it. Got our speakers over there. Underneath these SETI cushions, we have a water tank, fresh water tank, and our batteries. We recently replaced both of our old school batteries with uh, AGM batteries. Uh, they perform much better. See our fan over there, which I can't turn on because it makes too much noise. Over here, have some storage, a spotlight, spare impellers. We had one, we just had to replace it. You obviously saw that in the last video. And a spare headlamp, a few other doodads. It's always good to have redundancy on a boat. You want to have more than one of everything in case something goes wrong, which it invariably will. Cabin light. We replaced all of our cabin lights with LEDs. And yeah, good stuff. So that's it. This is our navigation station. The electrical panel here with switches control everything on the entire boat. We have our VHF radio for communicating with other boats or Towboat US if we need a tow or the marina gas station. Down below the navigation station we have our stereo. We have a little bit of storage there for we have a bunch of screws and stuff in a box. Generally that's used to store our shoes. And then right down there there's a very strange and unusual compartment. We don't know what it's for. We have nothing in there. Someday we may take that out and replace it with something more interesting. The navigation light, in case you need to read a map or anything else for that matter. Under this panel here is where we keep our winch handles. We have three in case we lose two. We have some headlamps in here, a few spare ropes and strings and things that we use from time to time paperwork just general stuff there's a map we don't really need that or maybe we do so that's the navigation station directly behind the navigation station is our aft berth this is another spot where there's a whole lot of space you could probably comfortably sleep two full-grown adults right there without any issue whatsoever we use it for storage primarily Below the aft berth is our fuel tank, our water pump, we added an accumulator tank, our hot water heater is there.
This is looking forward on our boat. You can see our two hatches, one over the saloon, the other over the V-berth. Have our winches left and right, port and starboard. Our clutches for holding our main sheet, our boom vang, and our two halyards. Moving forward towards the front of the boat for our bowsprit and our forestay. We have 150% Genoa, so it's a great big foresail, catch lots of wind. Here we have our anchor locker, and if we open this guy up, you can see, that, no surprise, that it has an anchor. We have a 13 pound anchor, 3 feet of chain, and roughly 150 feet of road. We haven't used that yet, haven't really needed to. This is what it looks like from the front, looking towards the back or aft. This is from the cockpit, just above the companionway, facing towards the back of the boat. See our nav pod, steering wheel, some speakers, listening to the radio while you go sailing, engine control panel, and we have our magma propane grill for cooking dinner, which we used last night to make burgers. It was fantastic. So our engine control panel, and not sure that I'll be able to get back here far enough to see it, but here are our instruments. On the left we have a knot meter, tells how fast we're going. In the middle we have our wind instrument, tells us wind speed, true and apparent, and the angle of the wind, important for sailing. And on the right we have a depth meter, so we know how deep the water is. Below that we have a Ritchie compass and there's the engine controls and the steering wheel. Very exciting. We figured a quick tour would help shed some light on what our starter boat looks like and allow people to get a feel for the size of it. We tried to keep it quick and simple, but if anyone has any questions or would like more information, feel free to let us know in the comments and we will work it into a future video. We hope you enjoyed the quick tour of SV Someday and thank you again for watching our video. Please help us out by hitting the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to do that so you don't miss any future videos. Also, as always, you can find us at SV Someday on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And check out our website at svsomeday.com.